Yeah, we'll probably take one torpedo hit. I'm curious to see what kind of damage it does to me anyway. Come no further, for death awaits you all with nasty big pointy teeth. Whoa, wait, what? Welcome back, everybody, to another viewer-submitted scenario here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This one comes from Jos Lapendrick, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Better uh, known as Major Schnitzel Launcher, if you're over on the Discord. I believe that's his username that he uses lately. And he submitted a couple of scenarios. It's the third one that he gave me that uh, I want to do today. And it's pretty interesting. It's very different than what we typically do. Uh, this is what he says. It's 1945 and World War II just ended. Having to repair the Royal Navy, uh, having to repair the Royal Navy went back to docks, but a thick fog approached a group of British ships. Even after the Allies knew Germany built a huge monster of a ship, they never knew where it was. Some theorists said it was sunk by a hurricane. Some say it was sunk by the Germans themselves to not allow it to fall into Allied hands. And some say the crew, or what is left of it, still lurking somewhere in the thick fog, waiting for the time to strike. But the captains of the ships in that group thought it was just a myth. So they kept calm. But all of a sudden, a huge, colossal monster of a ship appeared out of the fog, very close to where their group was. Uh, they never believed the legend before, but they changed their minds instantly and prepared to do whatever they could to survive. As the ghost ship was closing in, they could see some people, but not a lot of them. Some were barely standing, and there was a green fog surrounding the monster. There was a short fight where almost no one survived. Only one single destroyer survived to tell the story. The captain told what he saw and that the reason why the rest of the group never came back. The people didn't believe him. They thought he was crazy, but they still had no explanation as to where the rest of the fleet was. As the legend continues, there were more and more sightings in the following years, and the last sighting was seen May 7th of last year, 2019, as the ghost ship was seen attacking and sinking an oil tanker near the eastern coast, as the satellite image captured only the green fog and the bow in the middle of the Atlantic. Every single captain in the Atlantic is scared to go out. Those who survive never return to the sea again. You play as the ghost ship. You need to sink every ship but leave a single destroyer alive, and you'll have to build a ship larger than the H-42 class battleships. They shall fear you and not forget that you are still lurking in the oceans. Your fleet is one battleship bigger than 100,000 tons. The enemy fleet is a battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, five destroyers. So let's build ourselves a giant German battleship. He didn't give anything about technology or distance, so I think we'll go with 1940 and about 25,000 meters. And uh, I think we're going to have to unlock to be able to get the larger ones. I'll check and see first. No, there is a German battleship available uh, that's over that size. So let's go ahead and... He said over 100,000 tons, but we'll, we'll go to the minimum over 100,000 tons. We'll go Super Battleship 2, Schleswig Holstein. Um, that seems to work for me. I think we'll just keep that name. I think we're going to want some speed on this thing. Obviously, if it's operating in the Atlantic, it's going to have a nice long range. Uh, we're going to want to protect it as much as possible. Let's go ahead and look at towers. We might need to move it up a little bit more so we can get big main guns on both sides. Now, I don't need to go all the way to 18s, I don't think. Mark 3, Mark 3. What's the reload time? Because I think I want a fast reload time. 15-inch gun seems to be the sweet spot for that. I think that'll be enough to kill a battle cruiser. Well, no. If we're going to go with a monster ship, it's got to have 17s at least. Okay, we're going to have to move up a little bit further. Still don't think that's enough. Okay, now we're getting back at this. I'm going to put as much protection as I can on this thing, especially torpedo bulge. We're going to need that, I think. So I don't think we're going to be able to outrun these ships to get a nice distance. Stick with high TNT shells. 
Definitely Radar 2. Definitely the best acoustics we can get. Um, I think... Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Now we'll go with the stereoscopic. I'm not going to worry about torpedoes. And we're definitely going to need a lot of secondaries on this thing. Right now our aft weight offset is not where I'd like it to be, but I can't really move too far forward with anything. Uh, and we're at 75% on the engine efficiency. So we may have to drop some speed. I wish there was a way to put a second funnel on this thing. They just don't really allow for that. All right, let's look at secondary guns because we're going to need them. We'll start with eights because these eights are really effective. I'm very, very pleased with the eight, eight inch secondaries where you can get them. But we'll also add some. Let's try some fives. All right, we're still at a 9.3 aft weight offset. We're going to have to find a way to adjust that. And I hate, and I think a lot of people commented on this, hopefully they'll add some way to be able to maybe add ballast or something so that you can balance the weight offset because uh, in order to get the weight offset more balanced, you have to make the ship look ugly. So you have to limit the, the rear turret by pushing it back a little further. You have to push this front turret up further than it would have been historically. Uh, and I can't slide these whole towers up any further. So it ends up looking weird to get a little more balanced ship. But there's really nothing I can do about that if I want to keep the balance. So 972 foot ship that's just uh, just right now under 104,000 tons. But we're going to correct that here in just a minute. We're going to throw 20. Oh, 20 is going to be too much. Let's put 16 inches of belt armor. It's really just the battle cruiser we have to worry about as far as big guns go. Uh, once we take care of the battle cruiser, it's really just torpedoes that I've got to worry about. So we're unfortunately not going to be able to throw a lot of armor on this thing. We've just got to survive that battle cruiser's onslaught. Uh, 20 inches is too much of turret armor. We'll go down to 14. Put 8 on the turret top. Maybe add another... No, we can't even go with another inch of deck extended. Alright, so it's not particularly well protected, but I think this is going to be enough to get the job done. Let's dive in. Okay, here we go. One battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and five destroyers. We just got to watch the torpedoes. It's the main thing I'm worried about. Otherwise, shouldn't be a big issue. Oh, I love these big battleships. going to take a while to get this thing turned, as you can see. So that's why torpedoes concern me, because... Maneuverability, not exactly a nimble craft. All right, I think we've spotted them. We'll keep it going at five times speed, at least for now. Until we get a little closer. He already hit me. Didn't do any damage. Oh, we just landed our first 17 inch hit. Both sides got really lucky on their first salvos. Yeah, we can't get that rear turret firing on him. That's okay. All right, we're starting to spot the other ships now. Oh, another hit. All right, let's slow down. What are we looking at over here? Alright, secondaries. Let's 
Start going after these destroyers. We gotta slow down to get our cruise speed bonus. Where's the battle cruiser? He dies first. I think that's probably him. Or her, as the case may be. I just say him because when I talk about an opponent, I always say him, whether on ship or land. All right, here come our eight inch guns. They're gonna start warming up. Gotta be careful of the torpedoes. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. So far he hasn't really done anything to me. He's landed a couple of deflected hits. There's a nice big 17 inch hit on this battle cruiser. Yeah, that did some pretty significant damage too. But again, I gotta worry about the secondaries coming in at me, these uh, escort ships that are coming straight at me in a big line. If they get a huge spread of torpedoes on me, I could have trouble. But my eights, if I can land a, an eight inch hit, I think one, if I do it right, might be enough to sink his destroyers. Oh, he just got a 16 inch hit on me. first eight on the destroyer. Not even close to enough though. Oh, that was a five inch hit, that's why. Come on baby, let's get a couple more 17 inch shells on that battle cruiser. There's another five on his first torpedo. Or, not torpedo boat, destroyer. Did we just change targets? We did. Our big guns just switched over to the destroyer. Wonder if I did that by accident. Speaking of that destroyer, he just moved. Oh, he's dropping the back of the line because of damage. Flash fire. I have to remember I'm supposed to leave one destroyer alive. Oh yeah. Let's put some big hits on that light cruiser. Alright, there's torpedoes. Turn, baby, turn. Yep, I should have probably turned sooner. Right there, right there, right there. I think we're okay. I get a lot of, uh, what do I get, anti-torpedo four? There goes this first light cruiser. So my torpedo bulges should be more than enough. I, could, I should be able to take several hits without suffering too much. We're going to turn all the way around the other way. All right, we're taking some damage here. We've got to get, get our big guns back on the Queen Mary. There 
There's a nice hit. Got a 21% chance to hit right now on that. Those are pretty good odds. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and keep turning. Rowena, you're going down. him that's got the 20% chance to hit. Mine's still at just 5.7. There's another hit. Queen Mary's down by about half. Oh yeah, we got that destroyer taken care of. Torpedoes in the water. I don't know that I want to cut toward him like this, but that's okay. I'm feeling kind of bold. probably take one torpedo hit. I'm curious to see what kind of damage it does to me anyway. Whoa, wait, what? That hit me in the wrong spot. Ammo detonation. Okay. Wow. That was crazy. All right not messing around this time we are gonna go with a big one 129,000 tons i would like to have more bulkheads than this let's drop the speed a little bit i went with an auto designed ship to see what what it would give us and you can kind of see what it did give us pretty happy with most of this the Krupp 4 armor was the main thing that was really messing this up. The lack of Krupp 4 armor. Now we can go up to 30 knots. Pretty good on everything else. What kind of guns would give us? 17 inch guns. I think everything else is pretty good. We'll drop to 29 knots. And then maybe drop one of the anti-torpedo bulges. Oh, that did a ton, actually. But the engine efficiency is 43% on this thing. So it'll go the speed. It's just not going to be real efficient. It'll just be really hard to accelerate. All right. Let's take this thing out and see what happens. Okay. Just gotta be careful with maneuvering because it's gonna take a lot to get this thing up to full speed and stay there. We'll go fast for a little while until we engage the enemy a little better. Okay. Already got hit. This time we got those three turrets on the rear, so maybe we're better off to stay at a distance. 2,000 shells. 
All right, so we've uh, been firing our 17-inch guns at some of the other ships. We just sank a heavy cruiser, the Suffolk, with one hit. We sank the one of his light cruisers with one hit for 5,400 damage. And take a look at this ship right here. Now, it's not a battleship, but it is the Nelson. Sorry, Nelson, you're going down. For those of you not familiar, on uh, over on our Discord and here on the channel in general, one of our most active users goes by the name HMS Nelson. He's kind of our channel mascot, if there is such a thing. Oh, we're about to get pummeled by torpedoes. Whenever there's a live stream, the first thing we do is wonder where Nelson is. Look at all those torpedoes coming my way. We're definitely going to get hit by this one here. And probably some of these, because this thing just don't turn on a dime. I've got uh, anti-torpedo four. So hopefully we're going to be okay, but we're going to take four or five more torpedoes here. Oh yeah, this is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad, because it's going to hit all along my hull. So that's a lot of flooding. Here comes another one. Oh, jeez. How many torpedoes can we take and survive? At some point, this anti-torpedo bolt just ain't going to do it. How many is that so far? Thirteen so far. All right. Feeling kind of invincible after surviving 13 torpedo hits. Alright, I'm gonna get my secondaries firing on some of these other targets. Look at Nelson dodging back and forth. Oh man, overshooting him with everything. The battle cruiser is pretty tough to hit, the Trafalgar, because uh, she's going 38 and a half knots. And right now, for me, the immediate threat's the torpedoes, anyway. Nelson just bobbing and weaving. Oh, boy. More torpedoes on the way. Not like I can just turn easily and dodge them either. But Nelson's making it really difficult. Because he moves so much, he's making it really hard for me to get a hit. I only need one though. Oh, and there's just really no way to avoid these torpedoes at this distance. Got that destroyed. Oh boy. 
Oh yeah, we're getting Nelson now. Bye bye, Nelson. Now these guys are firing smoke. Yeah, I think we got enough flooding to sink Nelson. It's going to depend on whether or not their pumps can stay on top of that. There's another torpedo hit on me. How many is that now? 15. We might need one more hit on Nelson. Which is there. Alright, bye bye. I think we've got that destroyer now. Alright, Trafalgar it is. We gotta sink one more destroyer and then let the other one survive. Alright, so we just landed our first big hit on Sardonyx. We gotta take out the battle cruiser, Trafalgar. Take out one more destroyer and then go for the four light cruisers. Fogger's going to be tough to hit, especially it's got 16 inch guns and it's got a 44% chance to hit me. But he's going so fast, I think is why I'm having trouble locking on him at a better than 3% chance. going to make it really difficult to sink. He just nailed me with another 16 inch. Up to 2.5% chance to hit now. Hoping one of these will hit him. Come on, baby. What we need to do is we need to land a hit that's going to slow him down and make him a hittable target. I'm just right now I don't have that. down to 48 percent I've caused 47,000 damage I've only taken 1.1 K almost all of that from the torpedoes the 15 torpedoes that have hit me it's funny last time I was sunk by one torpedo this time I've been hit by 15 and I'm still chugging along only a 2.1 percent chance while locked on the Trafalgar just need one good hit to slow it down. These ones might have a shot. Nope, nothing. He just landed three more 16 inch hits on me. There we go, I think we got the last destroyer. Yep, all right, so now we're gonna target the, the cruisers because we're supposed to leave the last destroyer alive. Trafalgar is going to be really hard to hit. And we're down to no hits. Here, 
tough nut to crack, dude. There's another torpedo just hit me. Two more. Three more. What's that? 19 torpedoes now. I'm just chugging along, just completely ignoring the torpedoes at this point. These guys are wondering what in the world they have to do to hit me, and to sink me. Still no hits on the battle cruiser. There's a hit. Boy, we needed that. Finally got something on the Trafalgar. Didn't do a lot, but hopefully it slows her down. It's got damage to one engine. Still going 38 knots, though. down to 37 knots. Took a lot of damage from that one hit because she's got few bulkheads and thin armor. Two more 16. Man, he's hit me with a lot of 16 inch shells. 79 16 inch shells have hit this ship. 19 torpedoes. And how many have I hit him with? I've hit him with four. Specifically, Three 17s and one 8 inch shell. And that's it. Trafalgar's repairing her engines now, though. But she's down to 35 knots. going to be close. Man. Right, I think we've got the Sydney. Let's refocus our secondaries. Come on, one more good hit, maybe in the bow section of the Trafalgar will be enough to sink her. I've now taken 90 16 inch hits. And 
There's another hit. Where'd that one hit? Uh, right in the center. It was too high. It didn't cause any flooding. I'm slowing down enough so the torpedoes are missing me now. Because he's overestimating my speed. There's another hit with a 17. That one hit just to the rear of the other one, though, so we're still not causing any flooding damage. But at least we're up to a 5% chance to hit now. Trafalgar's down to 33 knots, so the more we slow her down, the easier she's going to be to hit. Alright, we did get a little more flooding damage, and there we got some more. I think we got her now. That one hit in the front. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Trafalgar's done. Let's go ahead and move the guns. Yeah. Trafalgar's got enough flooding. She's going down. Just needed that first hit to slow it down enough to make it possible to hit. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be a problem. We're going to take another torpedo. Just depends on how much structural damage I take from it. Oh, I do have torpedo tubes. Because I did a uh, auto build that time. I was going to say, I don't remember putting torpedo tubes on my ship. But it auto built, put some in. It's gonna be tough to tough to fit the yeah, to hit these light cruisers with my big guns, which everybody should be on HE if they're not already. Fire secondaries on one and mains on the other for now. take one hit from the 17s on the Indus if we can get lucky and get one. I've been hit 2,000 times. I took a total of 95 hits from the 16-inch guns on the battle cruiser. 99 7-inch shells. And those did about as much damage as the 95 16s did. And 20 torpedoes. Make it 21. There's Dunedin. Make it. Oh, is it going to be 22? It's going to be 22 torpedoes. No, don't fire on the destroyer. No, 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 no. Don't hit him. We have strict instructions to allow one to survive. Give me one hit on the Indus with my 17s. Alright, I think we got that, that guy. Alright, that leaves Indus. 
Because then we're going to leave the destroyer to run away. He's firing smoke, so it's going to be a little trickier to hit her. Oh, we're going to get hit by another torpedo? No, we missed those ones. There it is. All right. No, let them survive. Well, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Mainly because I couldn't hit the battle cruiser and I took a bazillion torpedoes. But there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that scenario. If you have one, go ahead and send it to me on Discord. Email it to me at thehistoryguy25 at uh, gmail.com or leave it in the comment section below. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next Taskmaster Challenge. Drop a like if you would. Thanks for watching.